with the family, the younger sisters, if, if, if the older sister commits zina, the younger sister is more likely to think less of the importance of education and to accept human sexual behavior at an early age and to accept parenting at a younger age. And we're seeing everyone being affected. This is the sister of the one who commits zina. Her brother, they, they find them to be more tolerant of non-marital and early birth. Yani, his older sister had a child and she was not married. What's the problem with it? There's nothing wrong with it. They, it becomes normal. So what we're trying to do, even though these problems don't exist, alhamdulillah, in a lot of the Muslim lands, and, and to some degree, some of them exist, we're trying to put the argument that it's a very harmful thing. And you can't make the argument that if a man and woman agree, what's the problem? If a man and woman want that, what is your business in this issue? La, it is my business. It's the society's business. And that's why the scholars say, when, if we, people commit zina, there is the right of Allah and the right of the community. Because this is damaging to us. There's the right of Allah and the right of the community. And uh, you know, a lot of times it, it severs the relationship between the father and his daughter especially. And in some lands, even though this is not Islamic, but it leads to murders and killings. Or within, within the spouses, it leads to one spouse killing the other for infidelity and so on and so forth.